Ahoj, když se zdenka, if you are semi-pro or professional portrait photographer, this video is for you. I've introduced Luminar Neo by Skylum on this channel a little bit over a year ago. Skylum is back, officially launching desktop portrait editor that can save a lot of time, but also brings very natural results, and that is very important, in cooperation with photographer Julia Trotti. The software is called Aperty. I am going to review the software, I will show you what it can do, and I'm going to share my honest opinion about this whole thing. This video is brought to you by Skylum. Let's jump into Aperty and import some photos I did this summer. A very special project involving a group of ballet dancers. This is one of them. I ended up with 1500 photos. The group shots are still not edited. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm hoping that this software could solve that problem. That would be great. Let's put this through a real test. As you can see, the interface is very simple. Before I make any changes to the images, a few important things. What sets this software apart from the other AI portrait video editors already available on the market? Why should we even check out this thing? There are three key elements. The first one is face mesh. They are using next gen technology that processes up to 4000 dots per face, which is more than 20 times compared to the other photo editors on the market. So this should make depth and dimensions of the image extremely precise. The second one is face and body segmentation. This technology detects up to 30 classes of face and body parts, making it easy for the software to perform highly detailed retouching and reshape adjustments. The last element is cutting edge synthetic data set generation. It sounds complicated, so let me explain it in plain English. AI models have been trained on synthetic data, not on creator's original work, as this is the biggest concern for photographers regarding privacy and intellectual property. Okay, let's finally work on the image. I am going to go to Essentials and just do a very basic edit. Let's bring the exposure a bit up. It needs to be brought up actually much higher. Let's bring in a bit of contrast, highlights, and shadows. Next, I like the adjust the color a bit. I'm going to play with the hue shift in HSL panel and give her a bit more of a natural skin tone. What I will also need to do is fix noise. I will use noise reduction. Once I enable that, I can control it more with luminosity, color, and boost controls. The basic edit is done. The image looks way much better now and much cleaner. I'm ready to actually test the strong features of the software. Let's go to the retouch panel where this software is supposed to really excel by giving us natural looking results. I'm going to enable scan blemish all the way to 100% to see what it can do. Let's see the before and after with this slider. I can certainly see that the skin is looking much better already. The next control is freckles removal. This really took most of it away. I can then further adjust it with a details slider. I'm going to bring the freckles a little bit back as I would rather keep it as natural as possible. The next tool is face smoothing. Let's enable this and see what it can do. I can see very much how the skin is smoother. I'm going to really bring it down as again in her age, her skin is already smooth, so I don't need to overdo it here. Next, I would like to work on her eyes. So let's scroll up to pull those controls. You can change the iris color if you like, but I am going to keep the original color. I'm going to bring the iris up, but tone it down a bit. She doesn't really have redness in her eyes. I will only push it a tiny bit to see what it does. 
I'm going to bring a little bit of a whiteness in her eyes. Let's see what eye enhancement does. Okay, I need to bring it down. That is quite strong. Let's curl up and go to makeup tools. I'm going to apply a bit of a blush. What I really love here is how smoothly it blends in. It really does look very natural. Let's see what contour does. It is quite strong, so I'm going to bring it down a bit. There are many other tools such as highlights, eyeliner and eyebrow enhancement. Let's skip those and go to the lips. I'm going to bring the saturation up so the lips get color. Same here, I really like how soft and natural this looks. I will also bring up the tone a bit. She doesn't really need any body adjustments, so I'm going to skip that part and go to the creative panel. What I usually do with my photos to add vignette, to have the models stand out, that's just my style. I'm going to slide it to the left to enable the dark vignette. And I will also adjust the size so her face really stands out. I will also enable the feather and still tone down the overall vignette. This is the final result. All these adjustments I can save as preset in the presets panel under yours. Let's test how all these changes can be applied to similar images. I'm going to copy edits and paste them to this photo. This looks very good. Let's zoom in to see the details and let's enable the before and after slider to see the changes. To me, this looks great. Here are both final exported photos. If I did it the old fashioned way in Photoshop, this would take a very long time. And I used to do that in Photoshop the old fashioned way. I've spent a lot of time there. Let's test more features on another photo. I went ahead and did the basic edit. Here is before and after. Let's go to the creative panel. Here you will find the LUTs section. You can import your own, get more LUTs online and try one of their built in LUTs. I am finding them not too strong, which is good. Let's just stay with Long Beach. You can edit those LUTs further. You can adjust the amount contrast and saturation. Another tool I would like to test out is Bokeh. Lightroom has this AI portrait feature, but it's really not that great. I was getting results like this where you can see that those edges are really off. I'm going to bring another photo that is already edited. Here is before and here is after. Let's go to the creative panel and check out the portrait bouquet tool. Once I enable this, I can also see that there are some areas that can be improved around here, around the arm. There are two tools you can use to fix it. Edge correction and depth correction. I am seeing that depth correction is the tool to fix this problem. And let's check the before and after. Masking is another big feature for a pretty. Let's test it. I have here a lifestyle stock photo that I took in the woods in natural light. Models are lit up well, but the background is just bad. It's very overblown between the trees. Let's go to the masking panel and mask the background. When I go with the mouse over the mask layer, I can see how the selection is. It did pretty good job. It's not as precise yet, but it's good in this case to work with the background. I am just going to play with the light adjustments, bring the exposure down, highlights, shadows and whites and keep adjusting until I get something like this. Let's see the before and after. I actually really like this feature. There are two more things I would like to test and then I'm going to share my own opinion 
about this software. The first one is face and body skin color correction. It is supposed to balance the skin by removing redness and green tones caused by bad lighting and shadows. Here is another stock photo I took. I would like to test it on. Let's just zoom in and look at her skin. So let's just bring the slider for face skin color correction all the way and see what happens. Yes, the color has changed. Let's check out the final feature that is Studio Light, which is quite a big one. I'm just going to use my photo there. There is not much light in the face, so it could use an additional light there. I am going to go to Creative Panel and under Light Control, when I click on the Show on Canvas, I can see where the light is positioned and I can even move it around. I can also control hue, saturation and depth. I'm not going to make it too strong, something like this. Let's move the light around again. I could position it to light up the face or use it as a hair light. You can add as many lights as you want here. Let's scroll down to light customization and select one of these presets, shutters. I'm going to leave the pattern on the strips. Below, I can change the position of the effect. You can see that the lighting effect is changing its shape and angle. After some changes, here's before and after. What do you think about this software? Let me know in the comment section below the video. Here's what I think. First of all, I was supposed to review this software a month ago, but I unfortunately declined. My policy is that any product or any software I'm going to show on my channel has to be fully finished, has to work well. It's this big responsibility I'm carrying on my shoulders. The demo I received wasn't quite there yet. It wasn't finished. They finished the whole product, however, in a month, which is quite impressive. So a month later right now, it's actually working well. It's all finished. So that's a very, very big thing to say. I do like how it creates natural results. I really like the skin and body tools. I like the creative light. The portrait bouquet is okay. I'm just waiting for the day until it will work really well and select the person perfectly. I'm pretty sure as they keep working on this and improve the product with many, many, many updates, it will get there quite soon. When you copy all adjustments and paste them to other images, it takes some time and also the export is not very fast, but I do understand that the technology simply needs time to process all that information if it has to go through 4000 dots in the face. I like that it can be used as a Photoshop plugin. When it comes to pricing, there are no credits, so that's great. It's not a one-time purchase, it's subscription-based, yearly subscription-based, so it might turn off some people. This is for those professionals that find that this will really help them to speed up their editing and get more clients. This software has a great potential. There are many great tools. I would like to see more tools added down the road. For those interested, link to this software is below the video in a video description. You can see the current pricing there. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you in one of those next. Ciao. Ahoy.